Oh, okay. Well, it goes back to a um, saint in the 300s. And he, the empire, this was right before Constantine, I believe, because, you know, Constantine was Christian. But, so I think this was right before them, um, saying the church was demand, the Roman Empire demanded that the church give all of its furnishings to the empire. And St. Lawrence did something really noble, like he um, sold them and gave the money to the poor. I know he was always a favorite of, like the patron saint of the poor and downtrodden. Oh yeah, he was martyred. Um, I think we have a book about the saints, but I'll, what I can probably do is I can probably find a nice summary about it on the web and just mail it to you so that you can... Yeah, I'll, I'll try to get that off to you in the next couple of days then. That's neat that he's asking that question finally. Uh, he's only almost 51, but um, hey. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it is unusual for a Lutheran to be named after a saint or for a Lutheran church to be named after a saint other than the ones in the Bible. So, so it is a good question. And, um, see, the southern German Lutherans, you know, where Papa's family came from, they stayed more like the Catholics than the northern German Lutherans, like your family. So they kept more of the saints and more of the ornamentation and things like that. So that has a little bit to do with it, too.